Question number 19. A Rimu school bought 25 textbooks and 35 exercise books for Kenyan shillings 13,500 from bookshop A. From the same bookshop, Soma school, Soma school uh, bought 21 textbooks and 38 exercise books and spent 1,300 Kenyan shillings less than a Rimu. Take X to represent the uh, price of a textbook and y to represent the text the price of an exercise book so we can say x uh, textbook uh, y exercise book uh, so that's uh, what we are given uh, we go back to the question we can see that uh, soma uh, i remove about 25 uh, textbook so this means we have 25 x uh, plus 35 exercise books, 35 Y, they spent, that is the uh, number of uh, textbook multiplied by the price plus number of exercise book multiplied by the price should add up to 13,500. Uh, Soma spent, uh, they bought uh, 21 uh, textbook uh, plus they bought that the eight ex uh, exercise book y is equal they spent 1300 uh, less so this is uh, 13500 one uh, five hundred so we have zero 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 two one so we get they spent uh this is uh, uh we have uh 135 minus no this is not uh, let's correct that this is not 1,500, but 1,300. So it is 1,500. Uh, we spent 1,300 rest. So it have zero. This is two. This is two. Twelve. So they spent uh, 12,200. So those are the two equations you can uh, form from the given information. Uh, part B, use matrix method to determine the price of each uh, uh, each item uh, so from the equation we can form the matrix so we have 25 uh, 35 we have 21 we have 38 uh, this we put in the bracket we have x and y and this is equals to 13 500 and 12 200 like that so to be able to find the value of x we need to uh, to solve this matrix uh, so what we need is first of all to get the determinant uh, determinant is you multiply that 25 times uh, no 25 25 multiply by 38 minus uh, 35 multiply by 21 and that should give you uh, 215 uh, now we need to get the inverse of this matrix so that we end up with x and y when you multiply the inverse of this matrix with this matrix you should end up an identity matrix and the identity matrix should now end up with x and y whatever you do to this side you also do to the other side and therefore uh, to get the inverse what we do is uh, we get 1 over determinant which is 215 uh, into bracket uh, interchange the elements of main diagonal uh, so this is a uh, 25 uh, not 25 but uh, that the 8 and this becomes 25 uh, introduce a negative uh, sign to the other diagonal that minus 35 uh, minus 21 uh, so this you multiply by 25 uh, you have 35 uh, we have uh, we have 21 and we have 38 uh, and then we have x and y this is equals to whatever you have done to the other side you also do it to this other side so you say 1 over 215 uh, you multiply by uh, that the uh, 8 uh, minus 35 we have minus 21 we have uh, 25 uh, then we have we multiply by uh, this matrix here uh, 13 
500 and we have uh, 12 200 like that so what the, what you do to this side because this is the inverse of this matrix when you multiply you end up with x and y so what we need to to have to find here is uh, so you have this means that uh, uh, we have x and y is equal to because of space let me use here to be able to do that uh, so what you do is uh, you'll be able to find x and y uh, is equals to uh, 1 over 215 when you multiply this matrix you multiply that the 8 times 13500 uh, then minus plus minus 35 times 12,000 per 200 you'll be able to get uh, the 86,000 uh, then the other one you'll be able to multiply this minus 21 times that my 13,500 uh, then plus my 25 plus to multiply by 12 200 that one will give you 21,500 uh, and when you simplify you'll be able to get x and y that is you multiply 1 over 15 multiply by 86,000 you'll be able to get uh, so we can put it here when you when you divide 86,000 by 400 uh, by 215 you'll be able to get 400 and uh, when you divide 21,500 you divide by 215 you'll be able to get uh, 100 what does that mean it means that exercise book uh, so this is what we had said exercise book uh, so we have textbook was costing 400 shillings and exercise book was costing 100 shillings uh, so that's how you are supposed to do so there is a lot of uh, computation here but uh, because of space I think I've explained you just you need to remember how you multiply uh, matrices which you run in form 3 uh, so part C in bookshop B the cost of uh, textbook was 5% uh, less than that of exercise book uh, was uh, and th that of an exercise book was 5% more in bookshop A Kasuku bought the same number of textbook and exercise book as Erimu in bookshop B calculate the difference in the amount spent by Kasuku and Erimu so because the text was 5% uh, less, so you say in, uh, in uh, bookshop B, bookshop B, textbook was going, uh, textbook, uh, it was 5% less and the test cost of textbook was 400. So it is 400 multiplied, uh, divided by 100 multiplied by 95. That should give you... Uh, using your calculator you get 380 so the textbook was costing 380 in bookshop b exercise book uh it was five uh, it was five percent higher and it was because it was costing 100 in a you divide by 100 you multiply by nine uh, one one that is you multiply it is five percent higher so you multiply by 105 and this should give you an 05 because 100 and 100 do cancel so because uh, uh, because Kasuku bought the same number of textbook and uh, exercise SRIMU, so it means uh, Kasuku well, how much did they spend uh, they, they bought the same number so we say 25 textbook multiply by 380 and when you multiply that or rather we can still do it the same we add uh, they bought uh, they bought exercise uh, exercise book uh, 35 and they were buying at 105 so when you add we multiply that and add up you get they spent 13,175 then uh, Erimu uh, Erimu, they we have already been given what they spent at ten thousand uh, five hundred. So it means uh, difference uh, difference was 
uh, the, what was spent by Kasu, by by Erimu, uh, 13,500. You, mi you minus what was spent by Kasuku, that is 13,175. Uh, so this will be, uh, this, this, let's put that properly. Uh, this will be 5. Uh, this is a uh, 9, we have 2, and this is 3. So it means uh, Erimu, uh, because they spent 13,500, they spent more by 325. So if you do that question like that, you should be able to get 10 marks. So that's how you go about it.